To get started using the Chison Eco 5, let's first get to know the system, its menus, how its interface works, and where you find some of the hidden things. And this will be the foundation for all of the other training throughout this series. First, the system is designed in what's called a home base system, where most of the items you're going to use uh, during scanning are designed around this trackball here where your hand will be placed most. This includes all the imaging modes, calculation menus, being able to set for an annotation, updating, and different items that you do during a scan. Things that we use less frequently are further away from this home position, such as annotations and using the keyboard and maybe some of these submenus for image optimization. So knowing that, let's take a quick tour. Uh, you obviously have your power button here, and you found that if you've gotten this far. Uh, standard QWERTY keyboard, nothing special about it except for when you want to do a capital letter, you're going to hit the shift key once and then type it. The shift key will work for using it once, but it won't uh, continue to hold down. So if you hold down the shift key and type, it's not going to work for you. Just push it down, release, and move on. Here we have our probe select button, our patient identifier key, system setup, end exam, body marker, comments, arrows for the annotations, delete for deleting comments, annotations, and measurements, your archive button, your report button, programmable print keys, and again, we'll go through each of these in subsequent videos. This is, again, just an introduction to the system. M mode, Doppler mode, color Doppler mode, and B mode for 2D imaging. This update key will be used for various things, such as measurements and pulse wave Doppler. Uh, your exit key, which will exit from any submenus or maybe a measurement screen or something of that sort. If you're stuck in a particular screen, just hit exit. This is a pointer key where if you press it, an arrow will appear on the key. And it, once you save images, you'll see some thumbnails down here. It'll allow you to select those or possibly allow you to select from a menu or something else on the screen, moving a measurement or such. Changes used in various uh, modes as well, including measurements, and you'll see in uh, subsequent videos what that will do for you. This is a menu button where if you push it down, you'll get a menu that is dependent upon what imaging mode you're in. For example, I'm in standard 2D, so it'll appear like this. If you know there's subsequent menus beneath it, such as advanced, uh, which we'll get into in 2D, there's also utility menu. Uh, that does various things in different modes, but if I hit the freeze key, this menu changes, and of course it'll change in no matter what menu I'm in, and most of those things are image optimization or parameters for various adjustments, and uh, also, as you'll find in the 2D imaging, some like hidden features for quad screen. you find your angle and zoom here. Your gain is up here, and uh, for the first little bit, if you're used to another ultrasound machine, you might end up twisting this instead. Just get used to the fact that the gain knob is here and it twists and uh, then we have our depth and focus and notice that it says depth and then focus to change it it means you're going to push it down I push it down and now I've got the focus lit up and I would change the focal position I push it down and I can change the depth of the image we have our freeze key pretty standard here this little film strip is for saving a clip instead of saving a single image which is this one so this will save your cine loop this will save a single image this here will flip the screens up and down, left and right. Tissue harmonics imaging mode, automatic image optimization, your standard TGCs. Up here we have what are called soft keys, and those, these will be referred to throughout the training as well. Uh, these refer to the menu that is right above it. So here it says frequency, so if I push down, it'll change the frequency down or up. Dynamic for dynamic range, I image, compound, turn them on and off, and 2B for dual screen mode. Around the top, we have the logo. We'll have patient information here when we enter a patient, your clinic name, the study preset that you're in, your indices, the probe, time, date, and along here we have information about the scan, frames per second, gain, power, frequency, dynamic range, depth, and as you get into other imaging modes, those will appear down here as well. We've already discussed that this would show the clipboard for any images that you've saved. There's also a menu down here showing the modes that you're in, and that will change as you switch into various imaging modes. Telling you what the trackball will do down here, depending on what it is that you're doing. And then down here we have the percentage of hard drive space that's remaining, your network status. Uh, if there's a USB key plugged in, it would not have an X through it right now. It says an X over this little USB symbol here, saying that there's not a USB key in. And you can take this pointer and scroll over and get the status of that 
by clicking enter on any of these it says the network or the hard drive storage saying how much is available this is how much battery I have left and there's some keyboard and then if I'm in all caps lock it'll show here I'm in caps lock 